From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Japanese commercial vehicles manufacturer UD Trucks had to contend with a tough year in 2021 with a number of global challenges, but still achieved solid growth and a number of successes. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. The company is now looking to build on this growth with a keen focus on sustainability. UD Trucks Southern Africa MD Philip van den Heerde outlines the company's stellar performance despite the challenges experienced. We have had quite some challenges around the whole pandemic that has affected the supply chain. Um, and beyond that, uh, with all the different lockdowns across the globe, we have had, say, our fair share of challenges bringing um, units to South Africa. But despite all those challenges, COVID, um, supply chain issues, I can say that we have been a pretty good coming out of 2021. Um, The market has grown 22-23% versus 2020 and we have been pretty, say, happy with a performance of around 40% sales increase. So a good performance on the vehicle side. Uh, We had a couple of successes. We have been um, talking a lot about um, improving together with our dealer network the um, acceptance of the UD Trust service agreements. Uh, bringing our customers closer to the network and to really deliver uptime for the vehicles under the UD Trust service agreement. As I indicated, we have done, despite all the challenges around the pandemic, a lot of efforts on training mechanics to be able to keep the uptime of our customers in the network, with the dealer network. And we've seen in our latest surveys quite a good uh, improvement on customer satisfaction. And then on telematics, we have been always in the forefront as UD Trucks with telematics. We started to bundle it next to driver training. We have been doing a lot of training towards our customers to really get them to feel and to take the advantages out of the telematics solution that we bring. Van den Heere also explains the company's strategic alliance with Isuzu Motors Group. December 2019. We were at that time part of the Volvo Group. UD Trucks was one of the, say, geographical truck brands coming from Japan belonging to Volvo Group. And in the strategic alliance, the whole um, setup was based on three pillars. And one of those pillars was to create a strong, heavy-duty Japanese platform between Isuzu and UD Trucks. Hence, UD Trucks was then um, absorbed in the Isuzu Motor Organization. And that happened last year, actually 2021, 1st of April. So since then, we are part of the Isuzu Motors Group. UD Trucks also has a new vision 2025 to become a Japanese sustainability leader through which it aims to build a better life. Funden Hida expands. The whole better life uh, strategy started from all the challenges that we saw on a global level, like urbanization, also global warming, um, growing middle class, putting, say, new demands on the on the transport industry at large. Um, Take e-commerce as an example. People during those lockdowns really wanting to have different level of deliveries, next day delivery, same day delivery. So it put a lot of, say, requirements on the transport industry where we have been, say, part of and which with better life we wanted to encompass in a better way. And we want to measure this as indicated in four areas. We want to, say, influence this on the one hand with smart logistics for our customers, on the other hand towards the planet with our environmental take on it. Third one is for people to be the most desired place to work for across the Japanese OEMs. And then the fourth one is more on the ESG criteria for companies improving our performance as a global company. UD Trucks' focus on sustainability has led the company to introduce Euro 5 trucks ahead of regulations in South Africa. Fanden Hira expands. As you know, we have been in the forefront bringing Euro 5 to market with our QUAM that is standing here, um, that we did in 2019. And we are now in 2022 going to further expand the range on the Quester side and on the Kroner side with additional Euro 5 models. So that is going to come Q2 this year. Um, And then hopefully we continue to see, as we saw on the Quan, a gradual increase of um, Euro 5 acceptance in the market. UD Trucks is also focusing on automation, connectivity and electromobility, or ACE. Fanden Hira explains. 
when it comes to ACE, there is a lot of development going on. We are a Japanese company, so all our engineering capabilities, of course, are sitting mainly in Japan. Um, hence, all our pilot projects in that regard, if it is about automation, if it is about electromobility, are happening mainly in Japan, only in Japan. Uh, the latest one was actually around automation, where we are working together with Kobe Steel, one of the biggest steel manufacturers in Japan, to have some vehicles running in a complete automated fashion around their facilities. Van den Heere mentions other areas of focus for the company for this year. We don't want to create a huge revolution, but say the Euro 5 introduction, of course, is a little bit of a, what I would call a revolutionary step, increasing the bar a little bit higher. Um, but we are looking forward to, say, work with key customers to make of the Euro 5 introduction a success. Then we will continue, of course, to manage the whole pandemic and how that, say, impacts the supply chains. I think that will not be off the radar in 2022. Um, also the challenge around microchips, as we talked about. So to manage, say, that those supplies come in a good fashion towards South Africa, that we can have our factory up and running at a good pace, that for sure will be high on the radar for a lot of people in the organization. And then from a customer point of view, continue to work with the telematics rollout, driver training, supporting the dealer network and delivering good uptime with, say, training initiatives towards mechanics. Always a big part of our agenda. That's Cremo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.